This is Sexy Funny Raw, the podcast with me, adult film star and comedian Sylvia Sage, here to discuss what you've only dared to ask Google. Undress, unzip, and unwind. The party starts now. Ayo. Welcome back to another episode of Sexy Funny Raw. Today is a very special episode for me, in fact, because... Um, I have had some visitors the past few weeks, so I have, since New Year's Eve, been entertaining my father, his wife, and their two adopted grandchildren, 11 and 4. Um, when they got in on New Year's Eve, I drove to LAX to pick these people up, which if you live in Los Angeles, you know that's already a huge feat all in itself. And then we went to the beach with these girls and then on New Year's Day, I made the worst decision of my life, and we went to Disneyland <laughs> Oof. on New Year's Day, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Apparently, it's the busiest day of the year. News to me, didn't know this before, but now we do, won't do that again. Uh, we rode nothing that was worth any value. I was on teacups, I was on Dumbo, uh, it, was, it was a nightmare. And uh, then we took a day off, I bought a new car, that was exciting. Um, and then we went to Universal uh, Studios, which is another nightmare all in itself. So I am happy that today I am child free, but I am still here with my dad. So my dad is going to join us in being one of our uh, co hosts today. So welcome, my dad, Mike. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. He's hi. so nervous to be <laughs> here. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> when we got in, he was like, uh, he was like, Kurt goes, our sound guy goes, do you have anything you want to promote? And my dad's like, what? Is no, uh, <laughs> I'm retired. I have nothing. This is just my daughter asked me to be here. So this is where I'm at. So we'll see what we can get out of him. He's a very funny man. Taught me everything I know, good or bad. So here we go. All right, guys. Without further ado, my guest co-host for this month, because she's going to join me in another episode. Oh, yeah. And one of my very good friends, <laughs> Dr. Lovejoy. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to the show. I'm so, thank you so much for having me. You have no idea how excited I am. I am so, I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. Well. I just saw a yawn over I here. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, let, me, let me introduce to, to, to the world who Dr. Lovejoy is. So, you are an online filmed on icon thank you yeah, you are I no am. I'm online 15 plus years as a phone sex operator i guess yeah. operator is you the know, word I, I would call it because that's the the term that everybody can use is right. phone sex operator what yeah. would you call it actually it's whatever phone sex phone it's all you know what the, somebody's jerking off on the other end it's sex <laughs> so okay sex with your hand all right phone bone i really refer to it actually as phone bone oh. phone dom well how we yeah. actually know each other is because she also hosts a weekly radio show uh for i want clips called i want radio on sirius xm yes, and that's I where know. i came and did your show and it's it's phenomenal it's hilarious it's so funny we talk everything on that show. I there's when she puts up quotes of what we talked about on the show. It's always something I don't even remember talking about because I'm like, and it's always the most embarrassing thing I said the entire episode, and that's what you guys quote. And I'm like, oh man, I just black out on her show and I say everything. The point of your show is to get everybody like off, right? You know, like, I guess I like to dig into people. Yeah, like you to, do. I like to ask questions that nobody else asks anyone else. I love that. And mm. what I think that people not in our business want to hear. Yeah. And, you know, as you've been on the show multiple times, yeah. we got loads of calls. Yeah. And I love loads. Calls. I, love I always get loads. loads. <laughs> oh, this one, because of course I have her on and we get all the loads. <laughs> <laughs> it was so many calls, but I just like to talk about things that I guess are on other people's minds that nobody has the balls to ask. Yeah. And, you and know. And you get it. I do. Yeah. I do. I love it. And as our guest for today, who has also been a guest on the Sirius XM radios, <laughs> I want, I want. We're um, such sluts. I we know. Just I'm just getting around with it. I know, but I'm so excited to have this person on because it's been somebody I've been watching and stalking on social mm. media, and now to get to meet him in person is a is a big day for me as well. So introduce Mr. Ron Jackson to the show. <laughs> I am so excited. So you, um. Originally started porn just last January. Uh -huh. See, I didn't even realize that, but you were nominated at AVN and XBiz for the best male newcomer. Mm -hmm. 
Income. Which is, I know, I love that. <laughs> I love that that's what we call it. But that's so flattering. Um, but well, my favorite thing about you, Rod, though, is your social media. <laughs> and because you're hilarious. You make all these amazing skits all the time. Mm -hmm. And they're so comical. And just talking to you, because, by the way, folks, he got here, what, did you get here 30 minutes early? 20 minutes early? Something like that. No one does that. I'm lucky if I can get these people to come in a minute before the show hey, airs. I came here. I got here too. No, 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 no. You did too. <laughs> yeah. You did too. I'm expected. I'm just a yeah. young old broad. I'm but I expect her old. because I know her. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I know she's going to show up early. Like, this is my drinking buddy. Yeah. So um, I know what her schedule is. Um, but you, sir, we were just talking before the show. Like, you're hilarious. And I want to take you on stage with me. Oh, man. Like, I would love for us to get together on stage and do, like, a whole bit about, like, what you're talking <laughs> about, like, your signature move. We were talking his signature oh move before God. the show, you guys. And But these are the things that people want to know. Because when I get on stage, uh, comedy-wise, and when I'm talking about porn, people eat it up. Yeah. They want to know the most ridiculous stuff. They mm. want to know... <laughs> all the horrible facts and all that they want to know like what's going on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like you're giving that to people and I love it. Yeah. I try to give, I try to give, um, the average person like a sneak peek inside. Yeah. Cause a lot of times my jokes are like, they're little jabs at the industry, not like yeah. negative ones, but it's like I things know. that people didn't know about. Yes. You know what I mean? And I try to let them know, uh, just different little insider yeah. things. I don't know. Yeah. I don't you know why I got like shy. Like, I got shy. Oh, have you seen me just as the yeah, one yeah. way? You got to put wait, context wait, behind that. <laughs> have you seen him just like, I just do that every day I, on the regular. Have you seen him just about the Are you into drag? Is this something I should know about you? Because I do love drag queens and uh, I can't uh, wait to no, have one on the show. A couple of my skits, um, I'll put on, I like bought a wig. Uh, another person gave me one, but like I'll put on a wig like for a specific, you know what I mean, kind. I'll have to show it to you. Okay. I mock porn girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times girls. I'll mock porn girls. Oh, my so like, God. Yeah. We, do, we do a little imitation. Oh, please. Because uh, I mock them all the time. Oh, myself. my God. Yeah. Okay. Just give me a, a little oh, extra. I got to think of... Uh... <laughs> so good. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys put me on the spot. I got to think. Yeah. Okay, so the main one... I... Oh, my God. I'm so shy now. Um... We can come back to it. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead. <laughs> okay, let's come back to it because let's go ahead and introduce our theme for the day because I do want to talk about it because you're my first black performer I've had on the stage. I've had other comedian friends of mine, but not um, a black performer. So I want to talk about what it's like to have racial di racial diversity in the porn world because it's there. Yeah. And nobody talks about it. And we were also having this conversation before the show started, yeah. is that Rod is not our typical black performer. <laughs> so typically in black porn, and I've, oh I've talked about this on the show before. Y'all just going to put me out there like that on oh, the internet. Oh, we put everything out there. You all are right. putting yourself out there I on have, the internet. We all can see it. Yeah, you can <laughs> Google it. We have eyes. Okay, but I've talked about it on the show before because normally with the black performers, it's like they have these atrocities in their pants and then I'm exposed to go yeah I will take that for the same rate that I do this for and no I won't it's 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 uncomfortable it, it hurts and it's absurd and I won't do it unless you're paying me a little bit extra mm -hmm. unless you're Rod and then apparently <clears throat> Rod is not our typical hung man I haven't seen so I don't know I'm just hearing from experience mm. And but that the yeah, experience well, is that <laughs> he's not as hung that you can work the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a comfortable size. It's a comfortable size. You know what I mean? Size. It's like, how can I put this? It's like a Honda Accord. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a very, very, very good car. It's just not exactly like the high-end luxury car. But again, dependable. Need, yeah, very dependable. Yeah. Um, won't give you any issues. Yeah. Um, and gets the job done. So ultimately, if you're looking for a Honda Accord. <laughs> so he wants to be the go-to guy in interracial porn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like where it'll be a good product and, <laughs> you know, the girl won't. I'm so sorry. Am I supposed to look into this camera? Because I'm just like. You can look wherever you want. in to the camera. You can look into the camera. You can look into my eyes. You can look into my father's eyes. Oh. You can look into Dr. Lovejoy's eyes. You got some nice eyes, man. He does. I got one of them. Yeah, yes. I was say you got them. Yeah. <laughs> so what are your exact dimensions? Um, I'm like yeah, let's eight, know this. I'm like eight inches. See, that's you know already above saying? average. Wait, wait, already... wait. Just tuck it easy. Just yeah. tuck look, it easy. It's okay. Way it's like yeah. Okay, look at me. Yeah. That's my um, dick. All right. <laughs> yeah. Like not not huge, <laughs> but like I'm managed. But like if we got in a fight. Yeah. You can manageable. hold your own. Like I, I hold my own. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like I'm not gonna beat your ass. It's mm. just like a. You'll survive. Okay. You know? oh, wow, so, I like that. Yeah, you know. I love that looking at you, I can look at your dick. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's a nice 
you know. What are you picturing right now with your hands? Could you? Can you? I can. I can imagine. You think like? Hmm? I ain't gonna lie to you. That kind of. Well, depends. he just said eight inches. Well, how about girth? Girth. Yeah. Uh, she again, goes. Put like, your <laughs> on, put your hand around it. Do a do a this. This honestly, like it's like me. Okay. Picture me. Like I'm not like super skinny, but I'm also not super. <laughs> you big, do look so like your like, dick. You, know you look yeah. like your dick. You look like your you dick. Know? Wait, do you have a wedding ring on your hand? Pinky ring. Oh my ring. god, I got scared. I was like, he's like yeah. 22 years old. Pinky I don't ring want this for to happen. A wedding ring. Anybody who knows where that's from? No, what is it? It's a Drake lyric. It oh. says, "Pinky ring till I get a wedding ring." So oh, like, oh. I just, yeah, like that basically means like I'm gonna be a player until oh. I sell it out. So like, pinky um. ring isn't like a pimp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's okay. Levels to it. You See, know? we're learning. Things. I know. I love. That's <laughs> what this show is about. This show is about learning things. Okay. Mm. So let's get into it. How did you, Dr. Lovejoy, get into, okay, uh, you're not in sex work, so I, I, I hate it. Is, it is considered you, yeah, sex work. Yeah, it is considered work. sex work. Okay, I'm getting guys off. Yeah, that is true. And women. Yeah, but how did, you, how did you step into it? Because it's not like a, a, a something you aspire to be as a Absolutely. little kid. Absolutely not. Uh, but I would say the foray to being a kid got into this. I was a huge prankster. I loved the phone. Yeah. I called people. I pranked people. I did voices. Um, I was in the entertainment business and music prior to this, doing okay. radio promotion. Okay. And my job was getting men primarily to do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So as the music industry comes crashing down, a friend randomly suggests to me, I know somebody who did phone sex to make ends work at meet. And I Googled it and found a place that was here in Los Angeles. Yeah. You dial in. Next thing you know, I'm like, oh, I was making $20 an hour, which was yeah. great. This is, again, 15 years ago right. from, from home. Wow. And now then one, she, of, one of those no, no, no. people called uh, who called me had said to me, you know, you don't need to be working for somebody. There is this site called Night Flirt yeah. where you can get on there and do it yourself. I started, so I looked that up, made a profile. And a long time ago, before this market was very saturated right. online, Oh my God, I can't tell you. I was raking in Murdered cash it. so mm. fast. And I started to learn about this whole humiliation thing. So that's what I primar primarily mm. do. I don't do regular phone sex. No, because I've been on one yes, of her have. phone calls and I'm like, oh my God. He's just. Even you got. I mean, you would think that, Sylvia, because you do porn, yeah. you'd be like, ah, oh, yeah. No, you were like, oh. I was like, what oh, my God, here? I don't want to talk to this yeah. guy. Like, yeah, it's a whole different, it's a different world. I don't know how she does it. Like, you were on the phone for how many hours? Seven hours that day. Seven wow. hours that yeah. day. It, she will go hours and hours with the same person. And it's like, yeah. I, first off, I'm not good with it. I, I'm i like, I get annoyed by people way too fast. Yeah. So a few messages in, I'm like, are we, what are we doing? You know, like, I, can't, <laughs> I know, yeah. you're like, how can you talk to them? I'm uh, like, I, look, I've got the cleanest house ever. Right. I'm, I, I am cleaning. I'm, I'm just that glamorous, too. Yeah. Call me. I'll bake sometimes. And because I'm a femdom, um, I talk a lot of shit. So it's yeah. like, hey, baby, come do me. It's like, yeah. do you think I fucking care yeah. that I'm doing dishes right now and you hear them? You're calling me and we're on my dime and my clock I can right see now. how that works, though. And yeah. I can see how that yes, works. Yes, ma'am. I'm like, that's yes, right. Master. I'm going to fucking do my dishes because <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and waste my day away with you on the phone. Right. If you want me for hours, I'm going to live my life around right. it. Yeah. But I, I hike like and take yeah, yeah, I know, right? I mm. hike and take calls. I, I yeah. Sylvia and I were out running errands. Yeah. Yeah. We're at Costco. And I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> We're in Costco. The middle of Costco. She's on us. Literally. I'm like, one sec here. This is, I'm like, we're buying. We we went and fed 150 homeless. So we're buying all this stuff. Yeah, we're buying all this stuff to fill our bags. And she's like, oh, I gotta take this call. And I'm like, okay. And then she starts talking to him, and I'm like, damn, we are in the middle. Of, and Costco is packed because it's like two days before Christmas. Yeah. So it's like a nightmare in there. It's but kind it of therapy like, though yeah. for me. It's because yeah. you know, in a way, I get to release and tell people mm -hmm. i can just go shut how you the really feel fuck yeah yourself you're mm -hmm. fucking annoying yeah and then it's like huh, okay let's go out for drinks yeah, yeah. Right? Like, and we did and, this. and it doesn't right? yeah. yeah but talking is different than texting i feel like do you think Text sexed? I, yeah I, yeah definitely because like uh not to segue away from your point but no, like, yeah. i feel the same way like when i make some of my videos like making fun of stuff like i can say how i really yeah. feel but yeah. if i make you laugh i can like say what i want yeah. You know I mean? Yes. So I definitely feel. So that. imagine having somebody call you, yeah. and you can be like, "I basically I say whatever is on my mind, mm -hmm. and they like it. They think it's yeah. funny. Yeah. They yeah. But that's so anyway. So that's how I got into it, and I was like, "Shit, I am really good at this." Yeah. And then I started developing characters because we live in Los Angeles, right. and there's mm -hmm. an abundance of women. Before all, every woman on the planet had their own uh, 
cam thing and OnlyFans and all right. those things mm-hmm. existed. So I would develop uh, websites around characters, and I play the character. You t- you're calling, thinking you're talking to her, but nice. you're talking to me. Nice. Mm. And I did that for forever. Oh, I need to have you run my account. Oh yeah, I mean seriously, I know. I have so many ideas. I, I, tell, I look at her all the time. I'm like, do you do this? Do you do that? No. no I know no, she's no, always no, telling no, me to no, sign no, up no. for other stuff, and I'm like, yeah. I have so many accounts. I, I can't easy flow. Keep up with it. Easy flow. It's exhausting. You know what? A hustler. It's just, I love hustling. I know, I'm a hustler too, but I like days off. Ugh, so much. (laughs) So much. Okay, Rod, wait. Because we started the show, and you were talking, you got into porn by actually Googling Uh how you get into porn and by following the steps. You hear that? Quit writing porn stars and asking how you get into porn and just Google it and figure it out yourself. Just Google it, all right? <laughs> just Google it. That's all you got to do. Bubba back home, just Google it. <laughs> Whoever, bro from Iceland, <laughs> just Google it. You know what I mean? Someone from India, just Google it. That's all you have to do. Literally, it'll tell you step by step. It'll even give you the pros and cons. Like, I looked at the does? pros and cons. Yeah, because... Wait, they, what do they say, the pros and cons? The pros are. and cons, the pros are, pros are obviously, you get to have sex with beautiful women. Like, okay, <laughs> you know, you, you get that. And you get paid good money for it. Right. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> The cons are you're going to have to do it. They were saying like you're going to have to do some things that are uncomfortable. Yeah. I.e. blow bangs, gang right. bangs. Right, right. Not What's a blow bang? A blow bang is a drive-by shooting. It's one and girl one and girl. a bunch of dicks. Yep, you just. And you wait in line. Yep. So, so it. and is it sex or is it coming on their face? It's just coming on their face. Well, sometimes, on their face. I mean, if the girls like. Or on their tits or wherever. It yeah, doesn't really sometimes matter. Sometimes they like, sometimes like they'll turn it into a gang. Make like, you'll get like a minute of sex. You know what I mean? So like. It's not really enjoyable. It's just Dad, a have camera. you ever done a blow bang? No. Have you ever okay. watched blow bang, Dad? No. Okay. Not into it. <laughs> no, okay. It's, it's an okay. acquired You taste. don't want to know what I'm into. No. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can guess, though. It's one of my talents. You know what's weird is my brother told me a long time ago that he found a genre of porn I'm not in. And I'm like, what could that be? Like, I don't know what he's watching that I wouldn't be in. Because, like, I'm even in gay porn. So Fetish. I'm like, I don't know what you're watching. Fetish. But Sissy. I- Sissy porn. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what his fetish is, but I, it's. I know what it is. You do? What is it? Do I have to say? Yes. <laughs> think, about, think about who he is married to. Oh, he was. He likes black girls. Yeah. So, well, uh, black girls, but oh, I still do okay. interracial stuff. Yeah. But I guess I'm not ever going to be a black girl. Yeah. So. He just yeah. Watches okay. Black yeah. Girl. Oh, so he's watching just opposite porn. Yeah. Yeah. The woman, okay. where the yeah. woman is. You're yeah. Not, okay. You're not. Yeah. Black. Hmm. I'll never be a She's black not? girl. No. Oh, I'll never really? be a black girl. Although I did get those melatonin shots, so I can. You did. Ten- I haven't taken them yet, but I want. I'm going to tan my skin from the inside out. Now, look who you're talking oh, to. He's I'm looking. Sorry, at I, I was born crazy? with this. I, I know. I, <laughs> from the inside out. Wow. Yeah, there's I mean, shots. She's going to look like you soon. Get it how you live. Well, I'm not going to get that dark, <laughs> but you know. Okay. So okay. So that was one of the. That was one of the cons. What were one of the? Uh, what's another one? Um, another one is they're like. Uh, what was another one? Uh, your parents no, are going to be so yeah, the they were, world they were, is going to hate you. Yeah, they were going. They said that. They said basically like your life will never go back to what it, it once won't. was. It won't. Somewhat. That's true. Some. It's different, but like, how'd your parents feel? Uh, Do they, they know? Yeah, they know. Oh, yeah, okay. My whole my whole family knows. Interesting to me when people tell me their parents don't know, and I'm like, how? I, don't, I got away with it for oh, quite I some. Know. It's just I eventually just told them because I was like, oh really? Yeah, I just told them. I was like, you know what I mean? But you had been doing it for a while before you told them. Yeah. Yeah. And I then how'd they her. take it? Um, my dad, you know, he was like, yeah, he'll make jokes every every <laughs> now and then. Um, my mom, she was kind of just like, I still love you. Like, Aww. I know who I raised. Like, I, I, yeah. I still, I don't like what you're doing, but like, I know you and I love you. you yeah. Know? And I was like, okay. And then all the homies know, and they all make, I'm li- they're literally on my live now talking about me. <laughs> oh, like, you on live right now? <laughs> yeah. They were oh, like, I'm it. looking at their comments. I'm like, you guys. What are they saying? Hilarious. Hold on, let me. Let me just go. Uh, I think that's how my dad felt. Like, you know, I'm going to love you no said, matter I what. I thought of it. How did, <laughs> yeah. how did, you, how did yeah. she tell you? How did you, did, did you sit down? Did I, you were at lunch? Yeah, we were know? driving in a car. Were we? And you started telling me, I already knew it. The answer. Uh, how did you know? I don't know. I thought it, felt it. Because yeah, she had I money? Didn't know. Suddenly? No. no, I didn't have money in the she beginning. Didn't money. In the beginning, they, 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 they I didn't make any money, money in the beginning. I didn't make money, honestly, until three years ago. Yeah. Did you have the boobs then? Yeah, I've had my boobs yes. since they're ten years. And did you strip before? No. no so you just, you just had got them just to just to. Yeah, because I had no, I had like nipples before. I had my boobs. I had no okay. tits. My <laughs> mom's butt. Yeah, yeah, I had no tits, no butt. I still have no butt. I'm working on it with squats, but it's real hard. I'm so proud of you. 
<sighs> Thank you, because I didn't get it injected like everybody else did. Is yeah. that what you're proud? I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say any of that. I love all booties where you get it, you buy it, or you earn it, whatever. <laughs> Either way it goes, it's yours. No, you know? I would love to buy one. I'm just terrified. I'm terrified of what's going to happen you on the You don't want to look like an ant. No. Bottom side. An ant. You know, what is you that? You ever seen I've an never... ant? Next what do you time, mean? When anybody who's watching <laughs> this, go home and Google a picture of an ant. Like, okay. like, I don't know if it's possible. Y'all Kurt, can, do it can now. we pull up a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Picture of a Kurt's going to pull up an ant because it has like you the see, sections. Look at, look at an oh, ant. I see. Look at an ant. Very, very skinny, oh. but just a huge <laughs> booty, like an you're excessively right. huge booty. Like, yeah, I, you're you right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Never want to have an ant booty. Yeah. Okay. Never. Thank you. Yeah. I will work really hard on not ever getting an ant booty. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about the people so, in porn whose parents roll up on them accidentally by watching you porn and you've never told see, them? Yeah, that's terrifying. And all of a sudden, you're there now on you porn or wherever yeah. and oh my god that's my daughter or son yeah that would be the worst that's why i think i wanted to tell my family more than mm -hmm. anything i don't want them to accidentally right. find something that's what you I know too. or like worst Trauma. case scenario i've known a few people who they're uh someone who didn't like them has sent their porn to their parents mm -hmm. somebody put mine up on my facebook at one point okay. somebody i went to high school with i don't even know who it was because it was gone by the time i got there but my sister-in-law at the time called me and she goes, have you been on Facebook today? And I said, no, why? And she goes, you need to get on there right now. Somebody posted a video of your stuff. And I was like, on my Facebook? Like, mm -hmm. And at that point, my nephew was one of my friends on Facebook. And he was 12 or 13 at the time. Well, I guess not. Yeah, probably 14 because he's 18 now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's awful. I was like, yeah. why would you do that? Yeah. Like, that's I'll some weirdos. Yeah. We'll take that into consideration. Your mm -hmm. family, like children. Right. And yeah. It's yeah. Not, it's more People don't think about that, though. they don't care. Yeah, they don't they care. They don't care. Yeah, I just didn't want it to be any other way than through my own words. Right. You know, you didn't think that they were gonna find it online. Um, I I definitely did think it. So I was, and it, it's just like kind of like that. Like I actually yeah. had somebody threaten to do it, and I was like, bro, mm. like I'm a grown man. Like, right. Like I'm gonna tell him. Like I, I'm not tripping either way. Right. You know what? I'll tell you a story. It was actually uh, it was actually one of my fans. He was a, he was a gay fan, and he was mad that I wouldn't <gasps> fuck him. Right. True story. And, and try to like blackmail uh, you? Yeah, and I was like, bro, for one, oh, this is no. true story, true story. So <clears throat> uh, this was uh, before when I was I was pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to he wanted to buy like like By the way, that's every person in their twenties, uh, just dumb, just yeah, so you know. <laughs> honestly, this isn't fully developed just yet. It's true. Oh my god, he knows it. It's true. Yeah, my prefrontal cortex. Oh, oh my, my god, god. Yeah. you make me so happy that you know uh, that about oh. god, you're falling oh in love. I right am here. and he's I just need him to be it's 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, I had a cash up at the time. That was my government name. And I was like, oh, that's my cousin. I'm like, bro, it's still your same picture. Like, right. stupid. So <laughs> I wake up the next morning, and it's like he screenshotted all of my family's Facebook. And he's like with smiley faces. And I was like, I'm just going to play it calm. I was like, all right. Like, I see where you're taking this. Wow. He's like, it'd be a shame if they found out. And I was like, not for real. He was like, you sure you still don't want to do, like, you don't want to meet up? I'm like, positive. <gasps> oh, my God. But here's God. the thing. Here's the thing. I went on his profile. Uh, I figured out where he worked at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I was yeah. doing my own. I was like, hey, bro, like, if you're going to do that, yeah. like. I can do it, too. If you go, you know, if you go, if you go hit the king, you got to kill the king. We know how to like, Google search. But not even that. Like, I literally knew <gasps> where he worked. Oh, okay. And I was like, hey, like, I'm not. I don't know if I could say it on the air, but I was like, hey, like, this can turn into something completely different. You right. know, like, all I got to make is a phone call. Right. And this can turn completely different. So, like, either you can chill out or you can keep going. It's fine. Right. I'm okay. We take it there. Oh, no. And um, needless to say, it, it, it got it squashed. Yeah, it, it got squashed very quickly. But I was like, hey, What's like, you don't you? know, know me. You know, you don't know me well enough, you know, at all. And yeah, to try happened. to threaten me. Yeah, and I was like, nah. I'm not going for it. Yeah, people but. are fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Like, people are really crazy. I've had some crazy people on my Facebook, too. I had a guy tell me that he was going to uh, show up to one of my shows with a with an AK-47 and teach me a lesson. Okay, that's... Mm. And he was like, top. you post your comedy online. He's like, I know where you're going to be at. Next time in your New York, you're in New York City, I'm going to show up to one of your shows. And it didn't happen. I've done a show in New York City since I posted it online. He didn't show up. So. That just gave me chills, yeah, okay. to be honest. I know. See, people I had a different crazy. reaction. I'm like, bro, like pull up. Pull up. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what a few of my friends had said. They were like, show up to the show. Let's I'm like, see what please happens. pull up. Yeah. I, I would encourage you to pull up. Yeah. Man, people are crazy. You that's just the internet nowadays. I think, and I mean, I'm speaking from a younger generation. I had old school parents. I came, like, my dad, like, like I, I just came You have came siblings? From, uh, 
Uh, yeah, older sister. Okay. Yeah, but like it's just like the way we was raised. It just was very old school, and like yeah. this whole internet generation. This I call it a participation trophy. Generation. Yeah, you know, I know what you're saying. My dad was the type where if I got a participation trophy, I'd take the trophy. He'd take the trophy and throw it away. But like you didn't earn that. <laughs> you didn't win like, that. He, he taught me that like at a young age. Like yo, like you get, like you earn it. You don't yeah. just get it. And so this generation is just yeah, I like that. Just soft, like mm -hmm. real sensitive. Like I can tell y'all have never been punched in the mouth. I'm not even a fighter at all. It's mm -hmm. just like I remember times where like I did something out of line, I got beat up for it. And it was like, you know what? Didn't do that again. Right. You can tell a lot of people don't. And yeah, I just I came from old school like that. Like people just need the ass whoop these days and it doesn't happen enough. I know. You know? She might whip your ass. I could, yeah. I could, I'm a good more of a verbal beater. All right, guys. Tear oh, you yeah. down to tears. All right, we're going to move on <laughs> to the next section of the day because I do have a word of the day. Oh. Okay, and today's uh, word is something I feel like may have happened in, in any of our scenarios. Um, so the word for the day is furball. <laughs> is, is this a thing? Does anyone know what furball means? Before I tell you the meaning. No idea. Can we guess? Each yeah, you guess? can guess, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to guess a furball is... Um, taking, oh, a hairy asshole and a load of jizz. I love how excited and you were about yeah. it. And you're oh, like, a hairy it's gonna asshole. be, yeah. it's gonna be a really furry <laughs> asshole. A fur, Those do exist. A furry asshole with a, a big load on it, covering it. That's mine. Guess. Okay, I That's think for it. me, I think a furball is uh, when a girl deep throats a hairy dick. Oh. It's, it's 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 close. You're closer than you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what it is is when you go down on someone and you get the hair stuck in your oh. teeth. That's oh. getting a fur ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. has it happened? I just I know because like my dick can get hairy, so like yeah. I just had a feeling. <laughs> Do you trim? <laughs> that's how we got in this predicament. I cut yeah. my dick. <gasps> that's yeah, that's right. You cut your dick, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you you made the cut bigger because yeah. you couldn't stop masturbating. I just I couldn't <laughs> stop touching it. <laughs> I just couldn't stop. It happens. Yeah. Have you ever gotten fur balls? I've never. No, it's like a uh, pubic floss. Yeah, I definitely have. I think just along the way. Yeah. Like gross. Oh, now I'm, I'm, cho I'm choking a little bit in my like just. You Dad, know. you grew up with the '70s. You surely had <laughs> fur balls. I had to. Yeah. A uh, girl uh, come to visit me. Uh, she'd just gotten braces, and yeah. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh no. That sounds like a nightmare. Well, Poor girl. For you. I'm just imagining For the her. 70s like just like a ball of hair. Yeah, that's what like, I imagine too. And uh, even on the lower half of the Panini, uh, it's there. I don't know why I said Panini. I have cussed a million times on this show and I just said Panini. Don't be shame. Yeah. I was going to say, don't be shame. No. I know. I don't know why I said Panini. That was weird for me even. Uh, yeah, so okay, that's the word of the day. I like to do a little education like each day. All right, so my next part of the show is because uh, the show moves so fast and we've just been talking so oh much. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite section of the day. And it is the last thing that you Googled that had to do with sex or sexuality. Okay. And now I will start because it, it, we've already talked about it in the show. And it was masturbation and how much, if any, is too much masturbation. Is masturbation good for you? And yes, of course, masturbation <laughs> is good for you. The only time masturbation isn't going to be good for you is if it's like keeping you from your daily activities. <laughs> like if you should be going to work and instead you're staying home to masturbate. But it does. It makes people's sex life better because that adds longevity to a man is being able to masturbate and control when he comes. And, mm -hmm. you know, as a male performer, like being able to control when you come, that is huge you know like mm. actually i that is my question to you rod is how did you learn the control did honestly you just it perfectly segues in but masturbation honestly yeah like because like uh it's called edging yeah you know what i mean like yeah. being able to edge like i like like because you know when you find that scene like you know when you found that scene yeah and you're like nah not yet i'm not it's gonna not come yet. yet yeah and then like it Holding translated it. it translated to sex where it's like uh, nah it's not time yet i can mm. keep going was that one of the things that they talked about in the how-to of porn, that you were going to have to know how to control your cum? That's what, one thing they did say, they said you're going to have to know how to, like, because they were making it seem like... You're fucking you're for gonna hours. Have to, no, they were saying, like, you're going to have to come, like, on command. Like, when they say <laughs> Well, now, you kind of are. Yeah, but, I mean, they'll give you some grace. They go, we got... Three minutes. Yeah, like they'll wrap least, this up. Yeah. yeah. So, what do they yell it to you, or is there a cue card that comes up that I mean, says "come into"? It really just depends if we're still, f if you're still fluid in the scene, and you've mm -hmm. just you haven't cut, then they'll just be like, "Okay, guys, mm, 
two minutes till pop yeah. or something like yeah. that. They'll just yell at you. Uh -huh. But usually I feel like we've had a break and then they're like, yeah. okay, guys, we need 10 more minutes. I've like, literally asked, like, when we have a cut, I'm like, all right, like, how much longer do you need? How much need? longer? That's I know. You, you just, how much longer do you need? I do too. And yeah. producers don't like it when you ask that question, but I'm like, why do you care? I'm the one who's got to mentally prepare to yeah. be out of breath for the next 10 minutes. That's you know? why I like, ask. So I know, like, to get in that mentally, mind frame, yeah. like, okay, it's time to land this plane. Like, 100%. All right, get the 100%. landing gear out. Yeah. Get ready. Do you, you even have I mean? your partner? Yeah. Like, if, if you two are having sex and they say pop, do you tap, like, tap her? A sound like to be like okay I'm ready to go you, um, you try I try to make it as sexual as possible like yeah. I'll say the words like you ready like, yeah ready? Okay. Like, well and it? they usually have to ask for it like yeah. oh, t you know like oh, someone yeah. has to ask for it like tell me you want me to come or come yeah. for me or so somebody has to be asking and begging okay. begging this because why bad. wouldn't do I have time to go pee at all is it possible to like can you hold it for th like twenty minutes oh, yeah, I... here honey I just mean, dump this out no I'm just kidding say, <laughs> yeah I can I can yeah. Can you or can you not? I feel bad if I say can I not. If you give me go, a cup, I go. promise you I can do it. Go. So, spe so go. speaking about that stuff, yeah. I do a lot of. Uh, you can I go do, if you need to go. go. Yeah, I'm like that's what I'm like. So we can hand it. MP3 stuff of ed as he's talking about edging, and you're talking about the masturbation. Yeah. So because I do opposite land, which yeah. is another femdom thing. I make the I sell these. Wait, MP3s. what's opposite land? We don't know. Tell the people. I'm, I'm making guys jerk off until they. Are in pain. Oh I, my God! Really? As, if you see them, yes. Like masturbate. I try to make guys addicted to masturbation because mm. I'm a, I'm an o I'm an opposite therapist where I want you to stroke your entire life away. So as you're sitting there saying, "Is masturbation healthy?" I'm learning healthy? so much from you. Yes, I'm trying to make men masturbate hourly, daily. I'm I'm here to increase your masturbation <laughs> addiction <laughs> and and edging. I want like I do some things edge till you collapse. Oh That's, wow! Yeah, where you're gonna just diddle that bean all day till you pass out and sit home oh my god yeah so you know yes, you're you healthy. want people to be unhealthy yeah well, with their sex but it is health no but it is healthy if you can everything's healthy in some moderation but you know yeah everything like in moderation interesting yeah. i didn't know you did that yeah, i'm gonna make you edge until you collapse oh, or i'm gonna make i'm gonna awful. have you masturbate for every hour on the hour that sounds awful to me because when i masturbate i don't want to take time this is some of my top stuff too they want to be told master but hearing the words masturbation yeah. addiction yeah. huge crazy they want to be made into more bait addictions yeah like you could just be telling you guys god i want you to stroke to me all day long oh they'll be like god yes <sighs> yes all day hour after well, hour. well i don't want to have a conversation with them when they do it though. after they i know you don't like <laughs> it. i don't like it what's the longest you've sat home masturbating have you ever gotten into like a well, yeah, I mean, there's like, certain times where you just like will spend like a morning like but I'm so, you know, my personality. I like to go, go, go. Yes. I like to get things done. I don't like to I don't like f a lot of free time. I don't like being lazy. I don't like sitting around. So it's hard for me to mentally allow myself yes. to sit there for a, a long time. Do you know what I'm saying? But usually if I'm like sick or something like that, then that's when I get in the most because that's the time where I'm like at home in bed where I wouldn't normally be there. That's right. Because you're Because I'm up. Riser. I'm yeah, up at 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and I want to be out the door by 8 a.m. and be at the gym and be running my errands. You don't like, have time to be masturbating. I don't have time to be masturbating all day. Yeah. I mean, I do. I have nothing but time. <laughs> but I fill my time up with random stuff. Okay. Now that you're back, Rod, Ooh. you feel better? I feel a lot better. Okay, great. <laughs> now, what was the last thing you Googled sexually? Uh, <laughs> so. Um, honest, me, be honest. Yeah, I'll be completely honest. I want so, people to learn stuff on this show. Okay, so me and the homies were like, we were roasting this one guy in the group because uh, he he recorded a video of him having sex with somebody, and one of his friends was still in the like we're in the room recording. We were like, that was weird. Like like he was like a cuckold or something. Yeah. So obviously, I uh, began to Google the fine art of cuckoldry. Wait, you and didn't so know? It just He's wasn't twenty three. Okay. It's just not something I just uh, knew too much about. Like I made the joke, but then I was like, because I see it in porn, like I have heard of it, but I was like, Wait, what actually is it? Before we go, do you know what cuckolding is, Dad? No. Okay. Uh. All right. Because I guess we're in, in in sex work. I know because of being in sex work. I didn't know before then. So it I guess is, that makes sense. The word is thrown has been thrown around in the past couple of years yeah. politically, and it is not the same word. Wait, mm -hmm. because I've looked it up. We've done it as one of our word of the day. But what did you find it out to be? Uh, it was more so like, uh, honestly, it was just like having sex with, uh, the context I saw it as was, uh, with somebody's like, somebody's wife while their mm -hmm. husband was in the room. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's like, having sex with the, well, it doesn't have to be the female, but yeah, having 
the partner of whoever you're having sex with is yeah. in the room yeah. watching you have sex with them. And I think what they get off to is that they could never fuck them that way because yeah. their dick is usually bigger or whatever. Or it's a black guy and he's a white guy. Like yeah. somewhere along those lines. That's like a big one. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. big one. That's yeah. One. That's the main one that I saw. Yeah. The Be- cucking is huge. Yeah. That's yeah. a huge So you fantasy. looked up cuckolding. Yeah. And, okay, and, good. And me and a guy, uh, um, Mr. Lucky POV, we go back and forth about jokes of like. Oh, that you're about to say doing cuckolding. No, 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 no. We literally joke about uh, cuckoldry. Cuckoldry. Um, I say he's a cuckoldry. he's a master cuckolder. Um, it's cuckolding. I know, but it sounds. I know, but, but it just, I like the way he it just said sounds it. funny when we say like. Can you do it with an accent? Cuckolding. Cuckolding. <laughs> cuckolding. I like it. I like so it. So that's always. It's just you have to say like cuckold. Cuckold. Cuckoldry. I studied the fine art cuckold, of cuckoldry. Cuckoldry. Yeah, that would I would be totally into cuckolding if I married just for money. Do you know really? what I'm saying? Like, if you married a super rich dude and you were only with him for money and you barely ever had sex with him, be like, yeah, like let's. I'd convince him that he liked cuckolding as well, so where I could thing. have sex with yeah. people that I wanted to have sex with. Mm-hmm. There's a million like subs. Rod. <laughs> I would call you for my cuckolding yeah, scene with my rich husband. Enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's so many men out there that want that though they want yeah they, they want do to, they want us but they want to marry a woman and the woman they know they can't physically please her right right so right. that's okay they will take care of you and you go do what you need to do to yeah. get yourself off and you just be the wife yeah but then you have those rich people that are like donald trump and you know just like ugh. you know he probably does not let her have sex with anybody else like gross mm-hmm. she doesn't even have a vagina does she oh, i don't know i feel it's... like she's a lizard like a giant <laughs> lizard <laughs> she's not just like a giant reptile, like reptilian in the face. I still like, think she's pretty. She is pretty. I do think she's pretty. I just think yeah. that God, she put herself in that position. I can't even feel bad for her. She's a mail order bride. Yeah. yeah. She, she didn't did, ask for this. She did. No, she, she did, did this to herself. Yeah, like I'd still fuck, but like <laughs> lizard. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, Doctor Lovejoy, what was the last thing? You well, Googled. because uh, you know I sling naughty terms all the time, yeah. I look up little different things. Yeah. The last thing I was looking up was adult uh, diapers for adult babies. Okay. Yeah, you're like, holy shit. I know what it is because I've done some customs. Yeah. Uh, back in the day when I was really broke and I needed money and I was doing random shit because I lived in Vegas and Vegas has some really weird customs people. I did some grown up baby stuff. There was no man there. It was just me with a diaper pretending, like pretending just to a camera that I'm putting a diaper on a baby. It's crazy. Oh, you didn't wear the diaper. No, I didn't wear it. I just pretended like I like he was there and I was talking to the camera. It was really weird. But there's some really weird shit out there. Yeah, no, I was actually searching for the adult diaper for him to wear and the specific And you were gonna send it to him? Send him the link so he could purchase them because they're like they make them for adults. They're pink and they have like little <gasps> duckies. Mm. And yeah, it's a, it's a, I know. So why are you excited by you see, that? See, I had Rod? to get up to go pee. If I had one of those on right now, I would never exactly. have to leave. Exactly. Never, never. You're right. Just, Rod's just, like gonna Google it for himself. Like he's like, I would be into that actually. Yeah, have have that. you guys heard of a thing called the Stadium Buddy? No. Stadium Buddy. I have a general idea, but I. No. It's a, a thing diaper. for men, but it's not a diaper. It's like an attachment. <laughs> no. And yes, and it's like a cup, and it just <gasps> you don't have to leave that your seats ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. It would be would useful you do in a car. Yeah. No, but uh, I've yeah. never peed in the bottle like on a road trip. Well, yeah. Exactly. It's the same. He's thing. about to take oh a very god. long road trip. Yeah. It's yeah. the oh same god. thing. Like literally, I've worked outside in the. Uh, <laughs> I've taken a crap in a bucket truck. Ooh. <laughs> up, he put it, the bucket truck up. up so no one can see. Uh, uh, what if it I'm, falls? I'm, 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 <laughs> that's the first fall. thing I thought of. Oh, I thought you meant the bucket, like you shit in a no, bucket. No, no, no. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. I thought I you were saying like, you shit in a bucket and then hung it yeah, up. Yeah, I was no, like, no. I'm talking about an aerial shit lens instance. device where you're up. Do you know what a bucket truck on, looks like? Working on telephone poles. Oh, I don't. Oh, that thing, the little, the little. Like if you're on a big truck. Oh, I thought he was thinking the same thing. I'm like, damn, you shit in a bucket and hung it up in your car. That's a little weird, but I. Wow. What if it falls on somebody? Like, what if you emergency stop and it just like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, he used to work on phone um, lines. Okay, so I got So he would be in one of those big trucks that go up, blah, blah, blah. Gotcha, and so gotcha. we just put it up, and then... No, I had a shit right in there. Yeah, yeah. No one's yeah. going to see you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you no can, one's going to see you. You got to go, you got to go. You got you to gotta pee, you go up in the bucket. So you, got, there, you got something you're putting in Okay, there. I was going to yeah, say, you yeah. Have, yeah. can you imagine if you're like just peeing out it, and nah. it's like, who's down there? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> or just shitting so out shit. of the bucket. <laughs> just just ass cheeks over shit. the railing. He got <laughs> shit on at Disneyland when we went. He got <sighs> shit That's on good his luck. face, That's on good his luck. nose. Bird. That's a sign of good luck. Oh, it was not good luck I don't want any of that. No, it wasn't kind of, a great day. It was a really rough day for everybody involved. I hope you had a lot of weed. I didn't have any weed. They don't oh. let you take anything in there. 
edibles? They don't let you take. I could have taken edibles, but I was driving. And I was like driving all of them, so I didn't take pussy any. purse. <laughs> I mean, Case it's the best it. way to try to, to travel. Where do you think it goes? We weren't born with those. No, you pockets. know what's funny is like two days before I was hanging with my buddy Stoner Rob, <laughs> and he's a comic, and he's like a huge weed comic, and everywhere he goes, it's his thing that he smokes weed everywhere. Like we had gone to the zoo the day before they got in. He was like, "Let me show you the spots to smoke weed in the zoo," and we were followed by security the entire time. We still smoked weed at the zoo. Like he's talented at this. Like he mm. travels all over, just getting high in places that you're not supposed to get high in. And so he was like, let me tell you the places to get high at Disney. And I was like, I'm going to be there with my like, family. <laughs> I'm not going to be trying to smoke weed. So did they want to join or what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You need more spots? Yeah. <laughs> How many parents must need weed at Disney I during know. that? They should be passing How many out. kids need it? Them oh. kids be everywhere. I swear to God, right before we left, I said, I know it's time to go because I almost hit a kid. Like, And I almost hit a kid like, I will fuck this kid up type hit a kid. Because mm. like the, it's already so crowded and it's People were everywhere, and you're bumping into people. But this kid out of nowhere just like comes through, and she's got this fucking wand, or st- I don't know what the fuck she had, but she's like making it win. She's like, Gag me, gag me, like hitting everybody. And I like, oh, I was like, I want to punch her in the back of the head. Punch her in the back of the head. So bad, I like, wanted to. Swing your to. hands in one motion. I've done it before. Uh, swing and, just, and I was and like, like we just... gotta go. I was like, I'm gonna hurt somebody, and it's gonna be a little kid, and I'm gonna go to jail. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, like, to we gotta go. Like it is. Yeah, you couldn't have gone on the better day. Oh, no, you you it's pick the best. There. You pick the best day. I know. Year. How about the strollers? Were the strollers just like in full force everywhere? Oh, strollers are everywhere. Out? Oh, we were knocking people out with our. We didn't have a stroller at Disney, which we should have. That's another lesson we learned. Kids crying, screaming, just <sighs> didn't want to walk anymore I, yeah. she didn't want to walk at all she wanted to be carried the whole oh. fucking time and she's four and <coughs> it's like you can't i kept trying to like give her analogies i'm like trying to like reason with a four-year-old i'm like you want us to give you weights to carry around all day she doesn't know what that means but i'm like i'm like trying to tell her like you're heavy like we can't carry you for long she's like my legs hurt i'm like so do mine everybody's <laughs> legs hurt <laughs> like you're Can you imagine fine. doing that every year but well, yeah. we are going to do it again, and I would like to do it another year, but I would like to do it the right way. Like, we're going to do it two days. We're going to get a hotel, because you can drink at the hotels. Yes. And I was like, if we could just get loaded, I would much be able to, I could handle it. You know what I'm saying? Like, take a few shots before you go out. Go ride a ride California or two. California Adventure. You stay in that hotel right there. Yeah, yeah you got to do something Go right like in the that. park. I couldn't do it. Okay. All right. We got to move on because the show moves so fast. I'm sorry. Okay. Because when Alexander's not here, he moves me along and he keeps me going. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I keep looking at the time like we're going to run out of it. Okay. So, <sighs> Rod. <laughs> Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> Do you feel I can't stop it with God. those eyes and that <laughs> smile? Teeth, right? That's I know. I know. So you have good. Such a good mouth. Okay. Do you feel <laughs> like your ethnicity helps or hinders you in the industry? <laughs> Man, we went for it. We're All going right. for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For the sake of time, I'm going to try to give you concise answers. All mm. right. Um, I believe it's a bit of both. Okay. Uh, I would say it, it helps um, because there aren't a lot of mm-hmm. black male performers. Yeah. Um, especially like my age, like it's literally me and I think Lil D and Al Choi. There's not many of yeah. us, but um, I think that's where it can kind of it can help. But I think where it hurts, um, there's a lot of times I get boxed in. Mm. I get boxed. Could in. play a certain role. Where yeah, it's like where they're like, oh, be this, <laughs> you know. And I mentioned James. Hi, Avalon. milf porn. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I I love James. I remember when I first started, I was always told like, stop with all the funny stuff. Stop, you're gonna ruin mm. your image. And I was like. My image is me. When I look in the yeah. mirror, that is my image. That's what yeah. I want to be my image. If that's not what you guys like, then I'm sorry. Like, what do I, they want? Right. Who are you supposed matter. to be? To, <laughs> no, who do they want you oh, to be? Oh, they wanted me to be like this like this tougher, you know. Thuggish? Yeah, like and I was mm. like, that's not, you know, that's not me. Like, I, I'd much rather be at peace with myself and at war with everybody else than mm. be at war with myself. But that's just a stereotype, like, too. Like, well, that kind of stupid. Too, you yeah. know what I mean? Stereotype. I know. Like, and I wasn't, I was like, no, like, I'm going to stay true to myself. Yeah. And you know, I told myself before I got in, when I looked at the pros and cons, like, okay, I'm going to do it my way, though. Yeah. You know Good what for I mean? you. I see the template, but I'm going to do it my way. And yeah. so a lot of times you can get boxed in and they're like, I won't get booked for the acting roles or things like that when I'm mm. like oh I can I can actually act yeah. you know what I mean like I can do these things you know you just, just I'm gonna just talk to some people for you cause yeah. oh I'm look at right. you you yeah, got I'm a new gonna talk to some, I'm you, gonna talk to some people you got a new little bun bun over here yeah. like I'm gonna take yeah. you in the wing yeah well the yeah. companies I work for are all the acting companies because that's really what I'm good at is the pre-acting before the sex and yeah, then, honestly like and then they just allow me to have sex because <laughs> I'm a good actress I kid so. you not there's some days where it's like I show up 
script already memorized. And I'm like, that was my highlight. The yeah, sex was that, just like, same. Cool. Like, all right. Like, we I have can, to have sex now. And even then, though, yeah. I like the sex is like, I can also act in that as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, are like, we? Just yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, it's enjoyable. Some, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. Some, <laughs> but it's like, say I'm playing a stepbrother. Yeah. I'm like, okay, the entire day in my mind, I'm like, I'm stepbrother. That's my stepsister. I'm grossed out. I'm not going to be <laughs> all. <laughs> I love that you go, you go character mode. Yeah, I love it. I have to because I, I look it. at it and I'm like, okay. This is my stepsister. I'm obviously not gonna be like, oh, you like that? Because that'd be a little oh, weird. Yeah, you know? yeah like, right, right, like right. I'm right, like, right, I'm right. like, kind of making it taboo. You yeah, know? good. I like um, that. Yeah, so that's where I will say helps and hinders is where like sometimes yeah. I can be boxed in, but also it's good because it's not many. Yeah. Of us and um, true, it's allowing me to do something like uh, allowing me to be the first of of sorts. So yeah, I, I like love that. that. Yeah. Dr. Lovejoy, so what cool. kind of racial? Um, what kind of racial fetishes do you think exist in the Dom world? Well, I get a ton, and you heard one. Yeah. Uh, you were on a call with me. Yeah. Uh, I get, I, I get, uh, <coughs> usually it's white men mm -hmm. who want to talk to me about how they want to suck. Every, one of my taglines I say on the show, uh, all roads lead to cock. And it's all roads lead to black cock <laughs> is the second part. <laughs> Every, almost nearly for 15 years do my calls and start one way and then they end with, you know, you just want a big black dick in your mouth. Mm. Yes, goddess. Every time. Wow. Um, you heard the other day a call, a caller of mine, the yeah. guy who was on for seven hours, uh, has an Asian fetish where he just uh, wants me to say... You know, how small his dick is. How small, like, uh, yeah, he wants me to t compare it to a grain of rice. Mm -hmm. and uh, other, That's a big one. You know, and I tell him I'm going to make him masturbate small. with chopsticks. Mm -hmm. you, you know, but um, I do get a lot of that, but I don't, it's, it's generally Caucasian men that want to be told that they're going to, uh, you know. Yeah. That, that, th th those are the two. Th they're going to suck a big black cock. Big black cock. But I would say that I get that every day. Every day, I, there's not a day that goes by that I do not have that conversation. Wow, and and what do you what do you guys make of that? By the way, what what does that tell you? I'm just curious. What in your eyes, both of you, what do you what does that even? What why do you it, think that is? Why do I think that it's such a big fetish? Yes. Why do you think Be I'm hearing this on a daily basis? I think in general, don't hurt me on this one, straight men in the room. But I think in general, other straight men are curious about what it's like to have sex with another man to have uh oral sex with another man to see another man to touch another man i think that that's a at least a curiosity and why does it lead then to black cock why does it well because have to black cock is very fetishized yes. fetishized yeah that's, that's a hard word to say it is it is fetishized. because it's so taboo there's still a taboo there about is it. still there a taboo still about it 2020 you know what's crazy is when i got into porn i didn't i started out having sex with black men but that was a thing that even my agent at the time he was like well you shouldn't start with black men i was like what i was like i'm not gonna not do it because i already have i have sex with black men in my normal life so i'm like i've not if I, my whole thing was when i got in porn like whatever i do in my normal life that's the things i'm gonna do in porn right out of the gate why would i hold out on anything you know like because you don't see a difference. It's right. just another person. Exactly. Like, and I'm not going to make it a special thing. Okay, we really got to wrap it up. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay. Okay, we're going to do at least one quick question because I have one from the um, fans. It's for everyone. So um, what do you do when someone starts to tell you their fetish and it's way beyond what you are into or extremely taboo, but you really want them to feel comfortable in the bedroom? That's a great question from Instagram, whoever gave that question. What do you say? So basically, how do I make somebody like if they're feel into comfortable something? if you're not into it, and you think it's something crazy? Because first off, I don't make them feel comfortable. I was just about to say the same. I was like, for the sake of time, fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm not. I'm kind of like I can't. Yeah, I can't it's like do that. that. I'm not. I'm not finna like. I'm like, oh, like you know, I'm saying it's cool, but like it's not for me. It's not so, my thing. Yeah. So. Which are both of the things that weren't for you? Quick. Well, somebody yeah. wanted yeah, to. Yeah, somebody wanted me to shit on them and then watch them eat my shit, and I was like, "Can't." Yep. Okay. Well, That's somebody good. wanted me to shit like, like just on camera, or even just like, like asshole <laughs> yeah. stuff. And I'm like, "Bro, no, I'm not Won't doing do it." Won't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And what about you? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm do you fetish. make them feel comfortable? Though? I'll fucking laugh at you. No. You like, shame no, them. Yeah, she can like, though. She can yeah. do that. Like yeah. if I do that, yeah. like I'm be like, Rod Jackson's a homophobe. I'm like, seriously? I just don't want to show you my asshole, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. All right, guys. If it was weird, I'd just be like. That's really fucking weird. Take your little shit fetish and go elsewhere with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for our show today. Rod, tell the people uh, where they can find you. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Rod Jackson XXX, uh, Instagram at Rod Jackson underscore official, 
and OnlyFans. You really should. <laughs> OnlyFans uh, slash Rod Jackson. Yeah, and you should. His stuff is hilarious. I love watching it. You make my day <laughs> all the time. It's such an honor to have you on the show. Thank Tell you. Tell the people where they can see, find you, Dr. Lovejoy. Uh, you can find me on Tuesdays on Sirius XM on the I Want Radio Show channel 415. You can find me on Twitter at Femdom Therapy. And I want Dr. Lovejoy for all of my erotic audio. Love it. Thank you for being on the show. Oh, loved it. Thank you to my father for being on the show and putting your insight in. We really appreciate it. And to you guys, until next time, adios, motherfuckers. <laughs>